Hey there, welcome to What in the ADHD. My name's Sydney, and today we're gonna to be talking about something that we all struggle with from time to time. And of course, by that, I mean every single day. Motivation. Before I get started on that though, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below, and at the end of the video, if you found it useful, go ahead and give the video a like. I have a lot going on in my life right now, and I really love making these videos, but more subscriptions, more views, more likes, that's going to be what keeps me motivated to keep making these videos and vlogs. All right, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, motivation. People with ADHD really, 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 really struggle with getting motivated. But why is that exactly? So you may have heard of this cute little molecule called dopamine. As you probably guessed it, dopamine is responsible for motivation. So while dopamine is responsible for things like motivation and emotional regulation, it's also the pleasure and reward center in our brain. When a normal brain, boring, experiences something positive or exciting or pleasurable, their brain releases a bunch of dopamine molecules and then it remembers that occurrence. And as these normal brains go through life, when they're confronted with a task, their brain remembers Hey dude, remember last time we had to do the thing and we felt really great about ourselves afterwards? Let's do the thing again. So then their brain releases dopamine before they need to do the task and that's what gives them the motivation to do the task. Now when I say the task, I'm not referring to something that's fun or exciting. I'm referring to something that's maybe tedious or boring. People with ADHD have a really hard time completing things that are tedious or boring because our brains don't make enough dopamine. So while this normal brain, boring, releases enough dopamine that will allow for this neurotypical person to pay their bills or clean their house, people with ADHD don't have that dopamine and therefore they don't have that motivation. So neurodiverse people that don't make enough dopamine are more likely to be drawn to tasks that they find fun or interesting. If you wanna know more about this, I've made a whole video on hyperfocus and how people with ADHD hyperfocus on things like video games and shopping and TV shows because we get such large hits of dopamine from doing those things that we hyperfocus on. So as you probably know, it can be really frustrating when a neurotypical says something like, why don't you just do the thing? It's not that hard. Listen, we are aware that sweeping the floor is not difficult. We are aware that opening an envelope and paying a bill is not difficult. It's not that we are unable to do those things. Our brains just won't let us. We do not have the tools in our brain to be able to connect the dots from needing to do something to actually finishing that task like neurotypicals do. So now that we know why people with ADHD struggle with getting motivated, is there any way around it? Are there any ways that we can hack our brain and do the thing even when we don't feel like doing the thing? The answer is yes, and I'm assuming that's why you came to this video. The first thing that I like to suggest to people when they say that they're having a hard time with getting motivated is making a to-do list. Before you groan and roll your eyes, hear me out. You may be used to making a to-do list that looks something like this. Clean the house, pay the bills, make dinner. That doesn't seem that hard at first glance, right? You just look at it and there are only three things on the list. Easy peasy. But it's not easy peasy, is it? Think about how long it takes you to clean a whole house or how long it takes to pay all of your bills or to make dinner. What you should do is you should break those things down. So breaking up your to-do list is the first step to getting motivated to do something. And that couples with another hack Celebrate your little wins. So when you make the list, instead of saying clean the house, break it up into smaller things. You know that feeling when you cross something off the to-do list and you're like, I did it, I crossed it off, it's done, I did the thing, and you feel awesome? You want more of that. People with ADHD need more of that feeling, more of that dopamine hit to actually continue to feel motivated. So instead of cleaning your entire house and then just crossing one thing off your list, you wanna make it so that you can cross a shit ton of things off your list. So like I said, instead of cleaning the house, make it clean the bathroom sink, clean the master bathroom toilet, clear off the kitchen counters, throw away expired milk, stuff like that. Put simpler tasks on your to-do list instead of the big daunting tasks on your to-do list. Yeah, the shorter one looks like it's easier to do, but if you make the longer list, you're going to be scratching things off every few minutes. How long does it take you to clean your bathroom sink? Like three to like seven or eight minutes or something like that. And then as soon as you're done cleaning your bathroom sink, guess what you get to do? That's right, you get to scratch it off your list. And guess what that's going to do to your brain? Your brain is gonna get that warm, fuzzy feeling because it just got some dopamine. And that's gonna keep motivating you to do more because your brain wants more dopamine. So then you clean your toilet. That takes a couple more minutes. Scratch that off your list, more dopamine. 
clear off your counter in the kitchen. Scratch that off your list, more dopamine. So that's the first thing that I like to suggest in correspondence with celebrating the little wins. So on top of getting a little hit of dopamine every time you scratch something off your list, also put rewards in place for yourself when you complete, say, five items on your list. Okay, I complete five items, so that means I can watch five minutes of TikTok, or that means I can have one piece of candy, or three sips of my margarita. Whatever your vice is, set that as a reward for yourself when you complete a set amount of tasks. The third thing that works well for people that struggle with getting motivated, avoiding the words should, need to, have to, and supposed to. Using these kinds of words like, well, I should do the laundry today, or man, I need to clean my bathroom. Like that's, that's not gonna help your ADHD brain because it's gonna make the task feel already like it's a chore and chores are not fun and your brain is gonna be like, ah ha ha, no. So what you should start practicing doing is instead of using those words, try to use the words want. I want to do laundry today. Now that's not gonna trick your brain outright. Just saying I want to do laundry today isn't gonna make your brain be like, oh yeah, let's do that. Let's drop some dopamine on this bitch and get the laundry done. Like, no, that's not gonna work. What you need to do on top of saying the word want is you need to think of positive things that come from you doing that task. For example, I had a really hard time getting motivated to make this video, coincidentally. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, I actually like making these videos. I like conveying the information in a simple way. I like putting on makeup for once because I'm gonna get in front of a camera. So once I thought about all of the things I like to do when I'm making these videos, my brain's like, okay, yeah, we can do this. And then it gives me a, a few molecules of dopamine to get me started. A fourth tip, make the task fun or interesting or in a way that allows you to be creative if the particular task allows for those things. So let's say you have to pay your bills. This is something I will probably never get motivated to do. I probably have about um, 40 envelopes from like surgeries. They're not like all different bills. They're just like the same bill and then like reminders like, yo, you still have not replied to us. And I'm like, I know I haven't because I don't want to. So, so let's say it's paying bills. Maybe make it like a wine night with your friends. Have your friends come over, bring their unpaid bills. You guys sit around and drink some wine and pay your bills together and make it out a thing. Five, set deadlines. Tell me if this situation sounds familiar. You're in fourth grade, your teacher assigns a big project that's due at the end of the school year. And then about two nights before it's due, you rush downstairs and you're like, mom, mom, mom. And she has to pause CSI Miami. And she's like, what do you want? And you're like, I need this and this and this from Walmart. Can you please take me? And she's like, it is nine o'clock, no. And you're like, please, I'm gonna fail. And she's like, how long have you known about this project? And you're like, uh, my teacher just assigned it today, so. And then your mom's like, but she takes you anyway, and then you get all your supplies, and then the night before it's due, you throw everything together, and then you end up getting a pretty good grade on it. That's because we had a sense of urgency. We had a deadline. So setting deadlines for tasks that maybe don't have deadlines would be a good idea. And to add to that, maybe make it so that someone else can hold you accountable. Let's say that you're working or you're in a college class. If you have a big project to do for work or for a specific class, ask your professor or your boss if they can help you set smaller deadlines before the big deadline. Can you set a deadline for me to turn in an outline and then like a first draft and then a second draft and then the figures that I need for this? That way you have someone holding you accountable for these deadlines and then you're not rushing to get things done at the last minute and stressing yourself out. And finally, the last tip to hack your brain for getting motivated, make it into a game or a competition. This works really well for kids. So for example, my son is really bad about eating his whole dinner. So what I've done with him recently, he really loves video games. So I tell him, in order to beat the first wave of monsters, you need to eat one bite of beans, one bite of potatoes, and one bite of chicken. And he's like, okay, I got this. And then lastly, we get to the boss fight. And this is the biggest amount of food that I tell him that he has to eat. I'm like, all right, if you want to beat the boss, you need to take four bites of chicken, three bites of potatoes, and two bites of beans. And he's like, I'm full. I think I'm full. And I'm like, all right, fine. You don't get the treasure that the boss is sitting on. And he's like, what's the treasure? And I'm like, I made brownies. And he's like, okay, I can do it. I can do it. So then he eats all his food. And then he gets brownies at the end. Setting up games for this person and then giving them a reward at the end that they actually want is really, really useful. The last thing I really wanna emphasize is that if you don't get the task done, do not beat yourself up about it. 
this is not going to help your brain. If you always beat yourself up about not getting something done, your brain is going to start associating failure and punishment with that task. And then next time you're like, okay, let's try to do this again. Your brain's gonna be like, dude, what the heck? No, I hate this. And it's not gonna wanna do the thing. Think about what you could have done different beforehand to help you get motivated for the task. Think about the type of environment that you needed to be in to complete the task and maybe try a different approach next time. Just keep trying. Don't give up, but don't punish yourself if you don't finish it when you wanted to finish it. But also don't just give yourself the reward. Like I tried, I'm gonna take a shot of tequila anyway. Like don't do that either because then your brain's just gonna be like, well, we can get the reward without doing the thing. And then the dopamine thing's never gonna happen for you when you wanna get motivated. So quick review of the things that help. Break up your to-do list. Celebrate those little wins. Avoid using words that make the task sound like a daunting chore. And use the words want to and think of things that you like about the task instead. Change the task up to make it fun and interesting or allows you to be creative. Give yourself deadlines and have someone that you trust hold you accountable to those deadlines. And lastly, make it a game. This works especially if you have a kid that struggles with getting motivated to do something. If there's something that works well for you to get motivated, but I didn't mention it here, leave it in the comments so others can see what you do to get motivated and maybe that'll help them too. So that's all I have for you today on motivation and dopamine. If you found it useful, I'd really appreciate a like. Feel free to leave comments, hit the subscribe button, Keep me motivated to keep making more videos. And lastly, stay weird.